Hey everyone, Grin Alexander here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I gotta swap this out into this crib and bunk bed system. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. Every good project starts with a plan. I measured out the area and sketched up a rough idea of what I wanted. Now, I just need to get materials. Went out for a walk with the dog today. It's garbage day and I found this. Take a look at that giant piece of oak that was in someone's garbage. So now it's mine. You don't need to scavenge to get materials like me. You can easily go to your local lumber yard or big box store and find suitable materials. After thickness planning the material to remove the original finish, I ripped three quarters of an inch thick pieces. This left me with stock that was approximately one and a half inch by three quarter inch. And as you can see, there was very little waste. Next up was cross cutting the pieces to length. Everyone's trailer is going to be a little bit different, so I'm not going to go over the exact dimensions I'm using in this project. That being said, as this is basically a crib, there is one dimension that is important, and that's the spacing of the slats. In Canada, the rule is that the spacing could be no more than 6 centimeters, which is about 2 and 3 8 inches apart. That's what I did here. To hold everything together, I'm using pocket hole screws. I chose this method over the other types of joinery as it will make it easy to take apart in a few years when my youngest no longer needs to be in a crib. To lessen the chance of splinters, I'm using my trim router to add a round over on all of the pieces. Last but not least, I added a natural finish to the wood. I chose this beeswax and mineral oil finish because it is non-toxic, just in case my baby decides to chew on the wood for some reason. I'm repeating all of these steps to make a simple ladder that will help my older son get to the top bunk. First I do some cross cutting, then add pocket holes, screw everything together, and round over all of the edges. In the corners, I used some sandpaper to get the round over right to the edge. To attach the upright pieces, I pre-drilled some countersink holes, and then I was able to screw them in place. These pieces seemed a little bit wobbly on their own, so I added some standoffs to attach the uprights to the top bunk. As you can see here, I pre-drilled some pocket holes and regular countersink holes, and then was able to attach it to the underside of the bunk. In order to get the little one into the crib area, I added some hinges. And to keep them inside all night, I added a simple latch. For the top bunk, I just added a board to act as a guardrail and it's attached to the uprights. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Now this was a lot of fun and this project I actually completed last summer, but I'm only getting around to posting it now because, you know, life gets in the way. But uh, we've actually been using it and it's been working out really great. Uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to hit me up. And until next time, cheers and have a great day.